Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you this little sketch that I did a couple weeks ago. And um, it was really easy, it took me like 20 minutes in real time, but I didn't narrate it because I was just kind of playing with these paints for the first time, seeing how they flowed, seeing how, uh, how I liked them, how they behaved, how much they moved and all of that. So I thought it'd be kind of fun just to share this with you because I think this is a really nice exercise to do when you have a new set of paints and you're trying to get used to them. Now you can see that I had made my swatch chart on the top of this paper and I had all this space left over so I thought it would be really fun to um, just do a little sketch so I could see not only the range of colors in this kit but also how they behaved. Now I'm sketching, I sketched with a little bit of uh, water-soluble graphite so that it would just kind of bleed into the design as I was working and it's going to be a pot of flowers so I didn't really need to have a ton of information sketched down. I just wanted to get the vase relatively symmetrical and then I could work from there. And I really like the water-soluble graphite if I don't want to have lines showing afterwards and I want a little moody texture. So like the Derwent Graphitip pencils are really good for that or any water-soluble graphite pencils you can find. Many brands make them. Um, you know, just see what your local store has. You can usually just buy a pencil or two. You can get tinted ones like the Graphitins or you can just get a plain gray, regular graphite water soluble, and then you can mix it with other colors as well. So it's, it's kind of versatile, it's fun. And um, I'm deciding to do some little flowers here. I'm just picking up some magenta and just kind of drawing little circles or rings, uh, putting little dabs and seeing how it flows. So this is sped up four times. So obviously, you're going to see the flow a little faster with this than if you were just doing it on your own. I like to see how different colors flow better than others, like this naphthol red color here that really bursts on the paper, where the magenta was a little bit slower to flow, and um, this yellow is even slower than that, it seems, although it is flowing pretty well. It's just kind of nice to see how these different these different colors behave. I like how putting that yellow in the middle of the pink and red, it will just kind of push it out and it's um, it's kind of fun. Now when I'm doing a color I don't want to flow too much, I will just try to keep it pretty dry on my brush, just kind of almost paste-like, so that uh, it won't blur out too much when I go in to use the, um, or, or draw my stems or leaves or whatnot. This uh, brush that I'm using is actually from this little kit of colors. This um, this is the Nomad watercolor palette from Zen Art Supplies. And it caught my eye a couple months ago on Amazon. And the palette itself with the brushes and all the paints was, I think, $39. So pretty affordable considering it had, actually it said it had 24 colors, but it came with 26 colors. You can see the two additional colors there next to the sponge and the palette. And um, this they're Korean made paints, so that intrigued me. So I wondered if it might be Mungio or um, Mission Gold or Shinhan or one of those other companies making it for them. But I, I didn't really find as much um, commonality between those paints, so I really don't know the providence of, of those paints, but um, but they flowed really well. They're nice and vibrant. I think they probably are enhanced with dyes because of the vibrancy and the flow and the price, because it was pretty inexpensive for that many colors. The other thing that I thought was kind of neat about this, if you just wanted to get it for the palette, because the palette is really, really cute. It's got this little flip up area with, I think, six brushes and a pencil in it, and then it's got the big flip out area with the mixing area, and it's got 26 colors um but the the colors all come with a little like a cellophane wrapping on them each color so you could actually just take the paints out and put your own paints in if you wanted to so um but i was surprised at the quality of the paint i thought the paints actually worked pretty good because i was mainly interested in it because the palette was so unique and i kind of have a thing for travel palettes but honestly uh, I'm gonna use the paints because I kind of like them. I'll probably bring them with me on vacation. I brought them with me to Old Orchard Beach a couple weeks ago uh, for people to use, and I'll probably bring this with me on my uh, camping camp week vacation so my kids can use them because I don't, I don't think they're gonna give them any trouble. Nice and bright, nice and vibrant. They do kind of remind me a little bit of um, of the Sakura Koi pan paints, but they're a little bit more vibrant and have a little more flow, but they, they kind of feel similar to that. Um, but I have no idea who's making them from Zen Art Supplies. Most of these companies that come out, like maybe they sell brushes or they do something, but then they come out with some other media. They're generally white labeled products are made by other factories to their spec specifications. And that's what I think we have happening here. But anyway, I really like this cute little painting and thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And until next time, happy crafting. <laughs>